Welcome back to my channel, everybody, and today we're making game day meatballs. Let's get it in this video, y'all, and let's go. We've got our fresh parsley here. Always have fresh herbs. We've got our lean ground beef, our minced garlic, our crushed red pepper flakes, our Parmesan cheese, because it's gotta be cheesy. <laughs> our minced onions, or diced onions rather, pardon me. Our kosher salt. Our seasoned Italian breadcrumbs. Can't forget about that boneless chicken, that egg. <laughs> All right, we're gonna go ahead and get our stuff situated with our prep work. We're gonna roll out our flat leaf parsley, and we're gonna chop that up nicely. Watch your fingertips. Roll it into bunches. Just give it a nice rough chop at first. There we go. Discard some for a little garnish later. Gotta love a little food grass. And then I find this technique works best for me when bottles aren't in my way. <laughs> We're gonna finally chop things up now, just like so. If I had a duller knife, I would have used it to scoop up these, but I'm not risking having any not so happy accidents in my kitchen. <laughs> We're gonna add in our minced garlic. You could take the time to mince it yourself, but it's game day, we don't have that time. Gotta be hairy, gotta eat. Add in our pepper flakes. Now, I like things spicy, so I add in a lot, but you know your heat level, so err on the side of caution for you. Don't forget about our kosher salt. There you go, and with salt, you gotta be careful because a little bit does go a long way. We're gonna add in about a half a cup, maybe a little more of our grated Parmesan cheese. Again, you could grate your own if you have the time to do it. I do not. So quick and efficient cooking. Our diced yellow onion. I didn't dice it. Doesn't matter who diced it as long as it's diced. Much as you can out of there, all your little pieces. Get in there. All right, and you wanna give that a, you know, a generous mix, really incorporate everything together. Let all those flavors know once another. Mix it, uh, mix it, mix it real good. All right, we're gonna bloop, add in your ground meat. All of it, spare no, no little morsel. Uh, just the smell alone is getting me together. Crack in our one egg. Bloop. One egg, watch it slide on down. <laughs> All right, and per usual, when it comes to making anything like this, use the tools that God gave you. Before we use said tools, we actually need to add in a few more things. There you go. Seasoned Italian breadcrumbs. One cup sounds like a lot, but I assure you it's not. I mean, because at the end of the day, no one wants mushy meatballs. Now you use the tools that God gave you. Mold it in real good. One hand is not gonna get it done. Get both of them hands in there and work that thing. There you go. Of course, a little time lapse because we definitely put that work in for these meatballs. We had to get everything together. Use an ice cream scoop to form your balls. This is a trick that uh, a very old friend of mine uh, gave me. I used to just pinch the meatballs by, by hand and really mold them in, but you want your hands to be uh, damp. 
uh, freshly washed but damp and then you use your hands to actually mold in your meatballs. Using the ice cream scoop will ensure that you get evenly sized meatballs. Get everything in there. Look at that, perfect little meatball, right? And then you literally just repeat the steps until you're all out of meat. Oh, I cannot wait to dive into these once they're all done. Sit up, watch my Ravens win it all. Yeah, I said it. I don't know if it's actually gonna happen, but I said it. Gonna drizzle a little bit of oil over uh, high heat, and then we're gonna sear these meatballs on two sides. Gonna sear them for about three minutes a side. Gotta sear it up real good. The smell is just hitting me. I had to actually cut the sound off in this uh, particular segment because the smoke was really strong and that fan was really loud. <laughs> and I know I'm not the only person who would set a smoke alarm off in your house. It's the most awkward thing in the world when you're filming, let me tell you. <laughs> Once you're done, you're going to put these on a baking sheet lined with foil and you're going to bake it for about 350 degrees until they reach a safe internal temperature. Look at that. Just perfect sear on these meatballs when ready to go. Little crusty bits of goodness. Got some font left in the pan. We're actually going to build our sauce right in this pan after we do our next batch of meatballs. You always wanna always want to fix your food in batches. You never want to um, overcrowd your pan. Look at these meatballs, they look so good. I'm gonna tear them things up. So I used bur bourbon barbecue sauce, chipotle barbecue sauce, grape jelly, and honey. Yes, grape jelly, don't judge me. Trust in the process, try it. Get your entire life. It is, it's a, it's a classic. It's a new twist on a classic sauce. And I am just over the moon with how it turned out. And I definitely will not change that recipe for these particular meatballs. Um, I've got like four or five different meatball recipes. Eventually they'll make their way onto the channel. Um, I just hope that you're enjoying them and you, and you try them out. <laughs> um, yeah. Gotta love it. So you're gonna go ahead and take everything off. These babies are hot. Do you hear me? Ouch. Um, we're going to take them all off and put them in the sauce and get them coated nicely. There we go. Last little bit. Look at all of that goodness. Ooh, balls of meat. And then there we go. We are gently covering all these up. We've got some onions that are coming out of the meatballs, which are wonderful little pockets of goodness. Once you get that sauce on there, it really adds to the presentation once they're finished. You know, if I had a bigger pan, I would have just uh, tossed all these. If you found this video uh, beneficial to you at all, please hit that subscribe button and make sure you turn on all of your post notifications so you won't miss a single video that's posted. If you are a fan of the show and you've been around with us for a while, welcome back. I love you. I miss you. Look at them meatballs. We are ready to get in it. Oh, shut your mouth. Oh, now it's time to eat my favorite part of this entire experiment. Eat. And three meatballs. Mm, four seems to be enough. I'll take that. I don't want to be too greedy. I'm not the only person eating these meatballs, although I could demolish this whole pan. Yeah, not gonna lie. I really could. <laughs> uh, have to get that food grass. There we go. As Mr. Make It Happen says, trademark money shot. <laughs> Go check out his channel, guys. He's pretty dope. Oh my goodness. I, I couldn't even take the time 
to unplug. I just had to sit down and devour these meatballs. Just my face would just say it all. XO, XO, gossip girl. Hey, you want some of this? You? <laughs> no, no, I'll play it. I can't, no. Oh my God, I can't. Why? Oh, it's so good. So good. You know you want some. You want a piece? Here, look at this. You can have a piece of that. Ann Avis, can you hear me? That's for you. <laughs> All right, friends. Per usual, y'all already know what time it is. We say it every week. We make it do what it do. I can't even continue to speak. <laughs> so I'm gonna see y'all next week. Y'all take care. God bless your heart and all your parts. Drop the mic. <laughs>